spread again Skrillex and Fortet blew up the internet with his remix a few weeks ago. So in today's video, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna flip this other little baby song into a tag house banger. So first, let's search for the acapella. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TP. I just dropped it in FL Studio. It's at 120 BPM. So the project will be on 120 as well. It does the job for Tag House. So we're gonna mix the vocal. In the remix from Fred again, he uses a lot of reverb on the vocals. Let's route it to a new mixer channel. Of course, add a sidechain to it. Low cut. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TP. I'm in this bitch with Open up the heights a little bit. And of course, the reverb and the Just like this. So now we're gonna work on the bass line. I got this new serum loaded up, so let's pick a preset from the new Dirty Tech Pack. It's a perfect pack for Tech House, so. If you wanna check it out, it's linked down below. Now we're gonna write the bass line. The MIDI gonna be very simple just to support the vocals. So let's start off on a root note on a D minor. Let's see how this works with the vocal. Yeah, this works perfect. Let's try to make a little variation at the end. Yeah, that's perfect. We're going up seven semitones and then down to the seventh note of the scale to end the melody. So now we're gonna mix it. I only want to add a sidechain to it. Besides that, let's try some distortion on it as well. It's low, but it needs some EQing afterwards. Yeah, I got rid of the highest in the bass. So this will be the bass. Now we're gonna dive into the drums. Now we're gonna build the drums. So let's open up the new Dirt Attack pack. Let's see how this kick works with the bass. Yeah, that's really dope. Now we're gonna add a clap to it. Of course, the open head as well. I think this one will work really well with it. Now we're gonna add some groove to it. Let's switch it up. And edit another one. Yeah, that's dope. Then the snare drums. Yeah, that's dope. Ban it. Then duplicate it. Then we're gonna get it slightly off the grid to add some more groove to humanize the placement of the drums because you can't hit every drum at exactly the same time. Let's see how it sounds with a kick and bass. I think it's a bit too slow, so I want to speed it up to 126. <laughs> Now we're gonna try a percussion loop on it, hit it to the tempo, and mix it in properly. I got rid of 
to know it. Yeah, that's sick. So all together, the drums sound like this. We got a foundation with the drums and bass ready, so now we're gonna dive into the lead sounds. So I added in a new serum. Let's pick a lead sound from the pack. Let's use this one. So head over to the piano roll. Start on the, start on the root note. Then go down to the 6th and 5th notes of the scale. And back to the root notes. And that's perfect. So now we're gonna mix it. Let's try some Cabo Crusher on it. And that's perfect. Now we need to EQ it. Of course, get rid of the low end. Dip the high ends a little bit. And of course, reverb and delay. And then a side chain to finish it off. Maybe an OTT works on the sound as well, so let's give it a try. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we need to match the volume. Let's see how it sounds together with the other elements. Yeah, perfect. First, copy over the elements. Then I want to add a step sound at the second part of the first part of the drop. Right here. So let's copy over the lead sound. And pick a new preset from the pack. For example, this one. Yeah, that's perfect. Then I want to make a fill at the end of the drop. Again, copy over stuff. Copy over the last two notes. Just like this. Yeah, that's a dope fill, so... Sounds like this. I think it's a bit too boring right now, over here, so... Let's drop in another kind of lead plug, which we can automate during the drop. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see how it sounds together with the bass and kick. And that's perfect. So now we're gonna automate a mod wheel to open up the synth. So we're gonna create an animation clip. And let it open up during the drop. Taking it from this to this. So that's it for the synth elements. I think it's turning out really dope. So. In the next part, we're gonna arrange it. The synths sound like this. We got almost all the elements ready, so now we're gonna dive into the arrangement. First, I added in some drum loops to use to use in the second part of the drop. Just some stuff to stack on top of the main drums. So first duplicate it, just like this. Then I also added an automation on a master channel. It's this low cut automation. Then we're gonna create a crash fill. So just drop in one from the pack. For example, this one. 
I got this chain saved so we can easily mix it in. Sounding like this. Then we're also gonna add a reverse one. So make it unique. Reverse. Just like this. And that's perfect. I also quickly gonna slap on my master chain. If you wanna know what the chain consists of, check out the short I made about it. It's linked down below as well. So that's it for the video. I think we made a really cool drop. It got, really, it got a lot of potential to turn into a full track. So let me know what you think about it in the comments as well. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. I'm